Our dear fourth semester students, B.Sc. Agriculture, you have been offered a course of horticulture. That is, the course name is Production Technology for Ornamental Crops, Map and Landscaping. Map stands for medicinal and aromatic plant. So, in this course, you have to study the ornamental plants, medicinal plant, aromatic plant, and landscaping. Today, I am going to deal with the first crop of ornamental plant that is rose. We all are aware with the flower rose. So, today, I am going to deal with the first flower crop that is rose and its value added product. VAP is nothing but value added product of rose. And my name is Dr. Asmita. So, Rose. Rose is very much liked by the everyone. As we all know, it is a symbol of love. And uh, there are many countries like UK, Iran, US, Maldives, Persia, which have the national flower of rose. It has originated in Central Asia and the basic chromosome number of rose is 7. It ranks first in the world flower market. A major portion of the world flower market is being dominated by the rose flower. When we talk about the taxonomic position of the rose, it belongs to the family Rosaceae and genus Rosa. Morphology of rose. As you will uh, have seen the flower plant rose, it has many pickles, spike on its stem. So it is nothing but that is the outgrowth of epidermis. It is a woody perennial plant and day neutral in nature. It means that it gives flower year round. Uh, the leaves are born alternately on the stem and the flowers of rose generally have five petals. But in one species that is Rosa sericea, you will notice the four petals only. When the talk about the size of the plant, it uh, goes from compact miniature rose to climbers. And the fruit of rose is called rose hips. That is the rich source of vitamin C. The economical yield of uh, rose flower, when, it means that is when we grow it for the cut flower production, it has the economical life up to six to seven years. The important species of rose. There are about 300 species of rose, of which the main species are Rosa alba, Borbiana, Canina, Centifolia, Damasiana, Fetida, Gallica, Moscata, Multiflora, Cerisia. What are the different uses of rose? It is mainly used as a cut flower production, followed by loose flower, shrub, standard, climber, hedge, edge, rock plant, pot plant, perfume, pot berry, dry flowers, rose flowers, rose water, gulkand, concrete, agarbatti, dhukbatti. That you can see there are many uses of rose. And when we grow it for the cut flower production, it should have the, some important characteristics like more number of petals. Petals should open slowly. It should have the more longevity. It should have the attractive color, long and strong stem. Generally, the most important uh, rose color is red. Red is being grown all over the world. Uh, di different categories of rose. The main categories of uh, rose are first one is hybrid tea. Uh, the 
that is the first varieties of hybrid tea was released in 1867 that was the la france and it is a cross of hybrid perpetuus and tea roses it is mainly dominating by the world all over the world that is when you see the cut flower or rose it is nothing but the hybrid tea only besides the hybrid tea the floribundas group grandiflora polyanthus hybrid perpetuals tea roses china roses miniatures damask roses bourbon roses cabbage roses french rose musk rose rugosas australian briar etc are being cultivated under rose when we have to grow the rose it is a sun loving plant it means the morning sunlight is very much essential for the growth of the plant otherwise if the morning sunlight is not not available for the rose the growth will be lanky temperature must be in the range of 18 to 28 degrees celsius and night temperature should not exceed exceed between 5 to 18 degrees celsius relative humidity must be 50 to 60% a good aeration must be present a uh, propagation of rose rose is commercially being propagated by the tea budding tea budding is also called shield budding under tea budding or tea shaped in season is given on the root stalk and the bud of a desired scion is inserted into that tea shaped root stalk uh, root stalk and that is the tea budding it is being commercially practiced all over the world by the seed method it is only used to develop the new cultivars so cutting is used to mainly propagate the root stalk and uh, other method uh, are grafting layering stenting micro propagation that can also be used under stenting method simultaneous budding is done on the cutting that is the stenting method important root stalk that is used uh, in rose that is rosa borbiana rosa indica variety odorata rosa multiflora rosa indica variety odorata is most popular under north indian plain condition but that rosa multiflora is largely used under south india and hill as a root stock when we use a root stock it should have the certain characteristics like it must tolerate the ph range of soil it must have the fibrous root system must be tolerant to biotic and abiotic stress stress and it should be free from suckers generally you will see that after budding a small suckers will arise from the budded portion that must not uh, that is undesirable it should support the bud for a long time and it must be able to grow in varied soil and agroclimatic condition optimum planting density is do in rose nowadays generally rose is being propagated under greenhouse condition and in greenhouse condition single double or four row planting system is being followed with a spacing of 30 into 25 cm thus optimum planting density goes to 60 to 70000 per hectare if after planting of the rose irrigation is very much essential for the vegetative and flowering stage of rose a uh, water logging condition must be avoided in the rose cultivation under uh, uh, summer season you should give the irrigation twice a week but in winter one can give the only one irrigation in a week for rose cultivation drip irrigation is 
seen ideal because the water goes directly to the root zone and the water use efficiency becomes high manures and fertilizer for the cut flower production a rose is a nutrient loving plant so we have to give the fertilizer dose of 10 is to 10 is to 15 g of npk per plant along with this you have to add the 100 g of rose mixture and this should be given twice a year that is after each pruning first dose is given 15 days after pruning when the new growth has started second growth is dose is given when the first flush is over third is recommended when the second flush is over before the spring blooming fim give is given as 5 to 10 kg per bush like any other crop weed control measure is also necessary in rose because it compete with the water and nutrient and also acts as a host for a number of diseases and pest one can control the weed by manual method otherwise by the chemical method to for d can control the broad leaf weeds after the planting of rose a special cultural practices is needed to improve the quality of the rose so the first important special cultural method is bending bending is generally practiced after 60 to 90 days after planting in this what we do that is the mother shoot is bended without breaking breaking it because it acts as a food factory for the growing vegetable shoot and it helps to sprout more ground roots from one plant so it is very much essential that is bending is done in the rows when we cultivate under greenhouse condition thinning is also practiced that is in this method undesirable growth like inward growth stem weak stem blind shoot crowded growth is removed so the proper aeration and sunlight goes to the plant the shakring is practiced to remove the shakers from the root stock that is the shoot produced below the bud union we have to remove it because it is undesirable it is not the economic part of rose next is pinching and pinching method removal of a part of terminal growing portion of stem is done it is done to reduce the stem height and to promote the auxiliary branching this budding is done to increase the size of the bud in this method the central bud is retained and the other bud is removed so that the size of the flower could become large and it we could get the best quality rose next is the removal of young vegetative shoot defoliation use of growth substances removal of faded flowers it is also being practiced and road green rose cultivation what we do in the removal of faded flowers that once the flowering flowering is over if we don't remove the flowers if the fruit is formed that is called the hips in advanced stages you will notice that the flowering is severely affected we could get the bad quality of rose so it is needed to remove the faded flowers wintering is also done in rose wintering is generally practiced in the western part of india because west in, in western part of india there is no dormancy in the rose and rose gives year round flowering so to to put the rose plant under some period of dormancy wintering is practiced 
in this method we will expose the base of the plant to sun and yeah, after a fortnight we will fill with a mixture of well decomposed manure and do watering once the flowering is over now the question is how rose plants are to be prepared for the next season once the flowering is over stop watering and nutrition after harvesting flowers for about 4 to 8 weeks until most of the leaves drop do pruning up to 10 to 6 30 to 60 cm from ground level and gradually start watering and nutrition as recommended now the harvesting of rose for the local market we will harvest the rose when the outer and one or two petals start unfurling but for the distant market once the color shown in stage is achieved that is the tight bud stage is ideal for the rose harvesting it is for the cut flower production but for the loose flower production fully opened flower is recommended for the harvesting generally the white pink and yellow cultivars are harvested earlier than to red because red may not open if harvested at tight bud stage rose are graded into the two types that is large flower cultivars and small flower cultivars after harvesting grading is done you can see here that the optimum yield of the cut roses under indian greens are greenhouse condition is 150 to 200 stem per meter square per year but under open field condition we will only get the 25 to 50 stem per meter square per year and in loose flower production 3 to 5 ton per hectare per year yield we can get packaging is done in the bundle of 10 12 20 or 25 and it is then wrapped in the corrugated cardboard boxes these are the important varieties that is are under cultivation in india and for the export purpose that is pusha arun pusa ajay pusa komal pusa mohit pusa mansich pusa gora pusa manhar pusa ranjana for the export purpose first red grand gala kora corvetti confetti is largely being pro, 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 produced now the important disease of rose black spot powdery mildew dieback and rust are the important disease of rose and red scales white ant aphid thrips red spider mite jacid etc are the important insect pest of rose rose is also affected by a number of disorder that is bullhead bent neck blind shoot vascular plugging deficiency of zinc and boron the first physiological disorder is limp neck you will notice the uh, rose flower that bent just below the calyx region that is nothing but the limp neck or bent neck it is due to the insufficient water absorption you will generally notice in the after the post harvest that is it is a post harvest disorder of rose another disorder is blind shoot in this the vegetative growth fails to produce the flowers and remains in vegetative stage next is bullhead in bullhead disorder of rose you will notice the increase in size of flower and flat topped appearance of the bud it is generally more prevalent during the winter where the temperature drops to a level lower than 12 degrees celsius next other important disease that is the black spot you can notice it it, it everywhere small black spot like structure is formed on the leaves 
it is generally occur on the upper surface of leaves and the that area surrounding the black spot becomes yellow and finally abscission of leaflets occur stems is also affected by the black spot that is purplish red irregular blotches develop on the immature wood which becomes black letter under control measures you have to remove the affected leaves from ground and dense planting must be avoided to allow good air circulation diplodia rosarium is also very a very important disease because after pruning of the rose you will notice the drying of the twigs from tip to downward that is blackening of the twigs occur and disease spreads to root and it causes the complete killing of the plant one important uh, thing is that pruning is a technical aspect of rose cultivation after the flowering is over we have to prune the plant because flower comes on the new growth so the pruning is done after each flowering so after each flowering when we prune the plant we should apply with a chobatia pest in the pruned area so we can get back of the dieback disease next is the powdery mildew it is a disease which generally seen in the greenhouse condition in this the grayish white powdery symptoms occur on the young leaf shoots and buds the infected leaves or buds will become distorted and finally drop or if the bud is uh, bud is affected it will fail to open and will give the poor quality flowers for control of this disease vetebal sulfur is recommended besides the cut flower or loose flower a number of value added product is also being prepared prepared from the rose the first one is rose water it is a water that is being prepared by the use of rose petals by cond condensing under the stem it is used as a sherbet eye lotion eye drop and sprinkling on the guest it is also used for cooking cosmetics medicine and religious purposes the rose water is largely largely being produced in india and it is exported to the countries like australia bahrain canada ethiopia fiji france kuwait malaysia nepal pankhuri is the another value added product that is being prepared by drying the rose petals in shoot in shed it is used in the preparation of cool summer drinks and incense potpourri is the another value added product that is prepared from rose potpourri is nothing but a mixture of dry sweet scented plant parts that includes flowers leaves seeds stems and roots india is the largest exporter of the potpourri to the uk and we can use the potpourri to decorate our home because it gives a pleasing smell next the gul value added product of rose is gulkand gulkand is a sweet preserve which is prepared by rose petals in sugar by mixing it in the ratio of 1 is to 1 it is an ayurvedic tonic and it helps in the reduction of eye inflammation redness strengthening of teeth and gums it also has cooling properties and beneficial in alleviating all heat related problems 
another important value added product is rose oil rose oil is being prepared from rose damasiana species rose damasiana is the important species that is commercially being used for the production of rose oil and widely grown in the country like bulgaria syria turkey russia pakistan india uzbekistan iran and china the rose damasiana species contains the oil percentage that is 0.05% oil content one thing is that for the production of rose oil we that is for 1 liter production of rose oil we have to use 3.5 ton of rose petals this much of a higher quantity is needed for the 1 liter of rose oil so rose oil is the most costly oil in the world market up to 5 to 6 lakh per kg you will see the price in the world market of rose oil next value added product is agarbatti and dhoop batti during the production of rose oil some by product is also formed that remnant has the smell of rose which we use for the production of agarbatti and dhoop batti and can get the fetch the market price next is the bouquet bouquet is also a value added product of rose because once you sell a single stick of rose you will notice that you will get only uh, 15 to 20 rupees suppose it is of 15 rupees in market of one single stick but if you make the bouquet of a 10 rose cut flower you will get the 200 rupees of that bouquet because calculate the price of a 10 plus rose stick that will be the 150 but if you the prepare a bouquet from the rose you will you are going to get 200 or 250 or even sometimes it go up to 300 rupees so it is also a value added product which benefit the growers or farmers shop another is the food and drink rose hips that is the fruit of rose is called hips as i have told earlier that is a it is a rich source of vitamin c it is used in the preparation of jam jelly marmalade and soup it is also pressed and filtered to make rose hip syrup herbal tea is also being used that is rose petals or flower buds are sometimes used to flavor ordinary tea or combined with other herbs to make herbal tea next value added product is rose syrup rose syrup is prepared from the rose petals and it is largely being prepared in the country like france in united state also this french rose syrup is used to make rose cones and marshmallows rose syrup is also used to flavor or to add rose scent to food and also used to make candy rose petals so students i have today dealt with the production technology of rose and its value added product go through the notes and if you have any query related to it you send me a mail Thank you.